Good morning. Uh, today we continue discussion about uh, lecture material from pathology, and today we will discussion about uh, bacterial infections. As a rule, uh, before we discussion about uh, our topic. Uh, I remember that you must read a book using the step one, where present information about all subject uh, and about pathology too. Uh, in the topic of bacterial infection, we will discussion about interstitial infection disease. For example, typhoid, salmonellosis, dysentery. Uh, Yenesiosis, Staphylococcus, Staphylococcal infection, intestinal infection, intestinal coli infection, also typhoid or abdominal typhus is an acute infection disease from the group of intestinal, which is characterized by cyclic cause, bacteremia, intoxication, typhoid, maculopapular eruption on skin, granulose inflammation of lymphoid uh, formations of intestine and their ulcerogenesis etiology of typhoid infection an agent is bacillus of typhus which belongs to the group of salmonella salmonella of typhi pathogenesis of this infection Infection takes place through a digestive channel. Latent period is from three days to three weeks. Salmonella reproduce in lymphatic formations of small intestine. Secreting endotoxin cause lymphadenitis. Overcoming a lymphatic pair an agent gets into blood, it is bacteremia. It is possible to select bacillus of typhus from blood on the first week of illness. Bacteria settle in different organs that draw the development of pneumonia, meningitis, etc. At the same time, approximately from the beginning of the second week begins cleaning of organisms from salmonella with bile, milk, sweet, urine, excrements. Immunity develops in reply to circular microbes and toxins. Pathomorphology of typhoid. Depending on the overwhelming primary defeat of lymphatic formations of intestine and lymphatic nodules we distinguish iliotyphoid, colotyphoid and iliocolotyphoid. Morphogenesis of this infection. There are five stages. Uh, they are select or uh, in morphogenesis of pathological change each then last approximately week. Stage of the medullary swelling, first stage. At first, as a re response to the action of antitoxin in pyre, patching, solitary follicles, and granulomatose inflammation develops in regional lymphatic nodules. Pyrus patches swell the surface remind the brain of child. Histological in lymphatic nodules, considerable hyperplasy of monocytes, histiocytes is marked and reticulocytes, which host lymphocytes. Majority of them is executed pathophagocytic function and synthesis a bacillus of typhus. Such macrophages are called typhus cells and their accumulation typhus granuloma. In this picture present histological signs first stage, stage of the medullary swelling. 
at higher magnification, the intense inflammation of the mucosa is seen. The colonic mucosal epithelium demonstrates loss of goblet cells. And exudate his presence over the surface. Both acute and chronic inflammatory cells are present. Acute and chronic inflammatory cells present. Next stage stage of necrosis of typhus granuloma develops on the second week. It is predefined by hyperergic reaction if there is synthesis and becoming of allergy in the first stage of illness. Since bacteria increased propagate oneself in a gallbladder, the anti intense is intestine with a bile again and repeatedly contact with various patients. In reply to it there is necrosis of superficial layer of groups and solitary follicles, which depends gra gradually, sometimes achieves peritoneum. Around necrosis there is demarcation inflammation. That tissue saturates with bile, which adopts the green coloring. Dystrophic change are marked in intramural ganglions and nervous fibers. This macroscopic picture you can see stage of necrosis of typhus granuloma. The mucosal service of the colon, seen here, is hyperemic and is partially covered by the yellow green exudate. The mucosa itself is not eroded. Set stage is characterized by the formation of ulcers as a result of sequestration and seizure of necrotic masses. They are dangerous by development of the inside intestine, bleeding and perforation of intestine. In this uh, uh, picture, histological signs, microscopically acute enterocolitis is marked by mucosal inflammation and necrosis tension. The stage of clean ulcers. The fourth stage is called the stage of clean ulcers, which are amenable to the complete cleaning from necrotic masses. It is characterized by the fact that they take place longitudinally to small intestine, mainly in its low segment. Ulcers are dangerous by the development of perforations. This uh, picture microscopically signs complication by uh, typhus. This is uh, typhlitis inflammation of the circum with perforation seen at the left asterisk. asterisk. The terminal stage of typhus defeat of intestine is cicatrization. Tender scars appear. Pair patches partly recommends and become sometimes something pigmented. The lymphatic nodules of mesentery, there is the also certain stage of morphological change, proliferation of monocytic macrophages, formation of typhus granuloma, necrosis, agonization and petrification of necrotic masses. General morphological and clinical displays of typhoid. To general morphological and clinical displays of typhoid it is necessary to refer. Eruption, hyperplastic process of lymphoid formation, 
dystrophic change in of internal organs. Also, general morphological and clinical displays of typhoid. Eruption appear on 7 or 11 days of illness, has maculopapular character, localized mainly on the skin. Proliferation of monocytic and histiocytic macrophages and also the formation of typhus granuloma is shown in the spleen, lymphatic nodules, marrow lungs, gallbladder, kidneys and other. Sometimes as a insignificantly expressed change in intestine, inflammation develops in lungs or kidneys below space, which prevails in the clinical picture of illness, thus from the health, health of defeat, a typhus stick is show, shown. In such cases, we select the following clinic morphological forms of typhoid. Pneumo typhus, colona gold typhus. Complication of typhoid can be divided into intraenteric and extraenteric. The intraenteric are bleeding and perforation. The later, as well as necrosis of lymphatic nodules of mesentery spleen, can entail the development of peritonitis. Also, Continue complication of typhoid. Among extraenteric complications are most common are pneumonia, faster in perichondritis of larynx, seraceous necrosis of direct muscle of peritoneum, osteomyelitis, intramuscular abscesses, death of typhoid. Death of typhoid patients mainly comes from gamorrhage, peritonitis, pneumonia, sepsis. Next, bacterial infection with injury of intestinum is dysentery. Dysentery grease this is disorder and enteritis intestine. Is acute infection disease with the Ohpelhelmin's defeat of colon. Etiology of dysentery. The agent of illness is bacteria from the group of Shigella. Wave of infection is enteral. Pathogenesis of dysentery. For bacterial dysentery, endocytobiosis is typical. Shigella propagates itself in the epithelium of mucous tunic of colon. The way of distribution of them is ascending from the rectum to sigmoid colon, etc. Cytosigel action of bacteria explains the development of cateral colitis on the first days of illness. Enterotoxin which frees itself at death of epithelium draws the damage of intramural ganglion, promoted vascular penetrating and paralysis of vessels. The destruction of epithelium and the vascular penetration is promoted by the determined replacement of cutera and the development of ulcers fibrinogenous inflammation a tearing away of fibrinogenous tapes. Pathomorphology of dysentery. Dysentery is an acute illness, but chronic motion is possible. The illness is hard as I, as by the local displays so of commons. Local change are expressed by colitis. The degree of feet displays relaxes in direction from rectum and sigmoid colon to the cecum. 
in morphogenesis of colitis we distinguish four stages. First, cateral colitis, second, vibrinogenous colitis, said formation of ulcers and fungus, cicatization of ulcers. Also, four stage of dysentery, four stage uh, local morphological change by dysentery. Cateral colitis, vibrinogenous colitis, formation of ulcers and cicatrization of ulcers. First stage, cateral dysentery. Last for second or third days and is characterized by cirrhosis or cirrhosis festering catar of mucus tunic. Microscopically, here appear hyperemia, plethora, cirrhosis festering impregnation, exfoliation of ridge of shigella epithelium, necrosis, and gemorrhages. Sometimes illness is limited to this change and does not pass to next stage. It is a so-called abortive form of dysentery. Second stage, stage of fibrinogenous colitis. Eruption like stratification of fibrin of brown green color appears on the surface of mucus tunic. The festering gangrenous areas of the second mucus tunic spread and deepen by an impregnation of fibrin and on periphery infiltration and gemorrhages is marked by neutrophils. In Meissner and Auerbacher's nervous interlaments there are dystrophy and necrosis of nervous cells and also nervous fibers with the proliferation of lymocytes. Diphtheritic colitis lasts from 5-10 days. And this uh, microscopically uh, picture in colon, you can see signs of a dysentery. One serious complication of inflammatory bowel disease and ulcerative colitis in particular is marked dilation of the colon, termed megacolon. Note the large circumference of the colon show healing. Next stage of dysentery, ulcerous colitis. They loops on the 10 or 12 day of illness. Ulcers arise up as a result of tearing away of fibrinogenous tapes and necrotic masses. Quickly make progress due to continuation of separation and ulceration. It has wrong outlines and different depths. Depth. The stage of motion of dysentery is dangerous by such complications as bleeding and perforations of intestine. In this uh, microscopically picture, you can see signs uh, dysentery with formation ulcerous, with formation ulcerous colitis. Microscopically, the inflammation of ulcerative colitis is conferred primarily to the mucosa. Here, the mucosa is eroded by an inflammatory process with ulceration that E and it means surrounding mucosa. These two microscopically signs uh, dysentery with injury of colon with formation ulcerous colitis. This is another example of pseudomembranous inflammation. This time in the ileum. A greenish yellow exudate covers most of the mucosal surface. The stage of cicatrization of ulcers, first stage of dysentery. The stage is characterized by the processes of regeneration and 
lasts for three, four weeks. The speed of cicatrization depends on the depth and distribution of the feet. As a considerable expressed, ulcerous colitis cicatrization can be completed by rough cicatrization change with the deformation of road clearance of intestine. As a low git flow flowing of repression and also pathological regeneration with formation of polyposis, dysentery adopts chronic motion. Any specific signs dysentery in children? Often they have hyperplasia of solitary follicles, follicle colitis, or their necrosis and festering melting with formation of ulcers, follicle ulcerous colitis, and also joining of anaerobic infection and gangrene of intestine, gangrenous colitis. A general pathological change by dysentery. The change are hard result by hyperplastic process in spleen, by small focuses necrosis in heart, liver, kidneys, by violation of calcium exchange with formation macro and micro lights. Complication by dysentery. A dysentery are distributed after the mechanism of origin of intestinal and extra enteric localization. Complications. To the intestinal, it follows to deliver a perforation with the development of periproctitis or peritonitis, phlegmon of intestine, gangrene of intestine, bleeding, Stenosis. Among extra enteric complications are bronchopneumonia, pyelitis and pyelonephritis, toxic serous arthritis, pyelophlebitic abscess of liver, amyloidosis, exhaustion, violation of water mineral exchange. The death by dysentery. A patient suffering from dysentery comes from intestinal and extraenteric complications. Next, bacterial infection in intestinum is salmonellosis. It is intestinal infection which is caused by salmonella. Belong to antro Pozoonosis and meat in human as well as in the rows of animals. Etiology of salmonellosis. An infection is transmitted by food way. Among salmonella, salmonella, uh, chifimoricum, how most well, salmonella of enteritis, salmonella of cholera sauce. Pathogenesis of salmonellosis. Antitoxin is excreted at disintegration of salmonella in intestine. In one causes, it causes acute vascular disorders, collapse and acute gastroenteritis. In other change are similar to typhoid. Salmonellosis overburden flowing of dysentery and replacing fever joints often. Pathological anatomy of salmonellosis. Disinguish intestinal, intestinal toxic, septic and typhus forms of salmonellosis. Also, intestinal or toxic, septic and typhus form. Intestinal form of salmonellosis arise up at the food poisoning. It is characterized by acute gastroenteritis, which result in dehydration of organism. Illness remind cholera, 
that is uh, why it is called uh, home cholera, cholera nostris. A septic form is characterized by presence of festering metastatic focuses in many organs as a insignificant phenomena of inflammation in a small intestine and the regional lymphatic nodules from gametogenic generalization of agent. Typhus form of Salmonella after localization remind the poorly expressed change in intestine, intestine which is similar to typhus. Intestinal complications, unlike typhoid, occur rarely. Complication of Salmonella Degradation of organism and festering metastasis which is untimely and low quality treatment can cause patients' death. Yersiniosis. This is acute infection disease which is characterized by local inflammation of mainly terminal department of small intestine and appendix and also regional lymphatic nodules uh, with the inclination to generalization. Etiology of Yersiniosis. The agent of illness is Yersenia enterocolitica. Mechanism of transmission elementary through monthly food stuffs. Pathogenesis of Yersiniosis. An agent penetrates through the mucous tunic of small intestine, causing its inflammation, enteritis, then gets in mesenteric lymph nodules where propagates itself and accumulates with the development of mesenterial lymph adenitis. Generalization of infection can be observed when an agent gets into blood with the defeat of internal organs by development of intoxication. Pathomorphology of Yersiniosis we select three clinic morphological forms of illness. First, abdominal or gastroenterocolitis. Second, appendiceal. And third, septical form. Abdominal form of hirsiniosis. This form is characterized by the development of catarrhal or catarrhal ulcerous enteritis. On a background inflammation, ulcers on the day of which find Irsenia and polymorphonuclear leukocytes appear in hyperplastic lymphoid follicles. In a process, a circum can be pulled in with the development of pseudomembranous colitis. The infiltration of all layers of intestine by neutrophils mononuclear cells, eosinophils, plasmatic cells is typical. This uh, microscopically assigns abdominal form of yersiniosis. Microscopically, the pseudomembrane is seen to be composed of inflammatory cells, necrotic epithelium, and mucus, in which the overgrowth of microorganism takes place. The underlying mucosa shows congestion vessels, but is still intact. And these two abdominal form of hirsiniosis at high magnification, the overlying pseudomembranous membrane as a left has numerous inflammatory cells, mainly neutrophils. General pathological change of erythrinosis. Mesenteric lymphatic nodules are enlarged in size. The tissues are infiltration polymorphic nuclear leukocytes, eosinophils, histiocytes, epithelioid cells, granuloma appear with the presence of zinc cells, uh, spirogolan guns. In liver, there are dystrophic change of hepatocytes, 
Ensplin, hyperplasia, in vessels, vasculitis. Thrombovasculitis, fibrinoid necrosis, there can be eruption on a skin which remind scarlatina eruption. Appendiceal form of hirsiniosis shows up clinic and morphology of acute appendicitis in combination with terminal ileitis and mesenteric lymphadenitis. In the intestine of appendix, there is inflammatory infiltration, sometimes Yersinia granuloma with superation. In this uh, histological picture, you can see appendicial form of uh, Yersiniosis. Here, the mucus shows ulceration and undermining by an extensive neutrophilic exudate. Septic form of hirsiniosis runs across on the type of septicemia and often ends with death. This is the logical science. The colonic mucosa of active ulcerative colitis shows crypt abscess in which a nitrophil leak exudate is found in glandular lumens of crypts of libercule. The submucosa shows intense inflammation. The glands demonstrate loss of goblet cells and hyperchromatic nuclei with inflammatory ATP. Complications of hirsiniosis have infectiously allergic character. In an early period, phlegmon and gangrene develop on a background of cataract inflammation of intestine, perforation of ulcers with the development of peritonitis, pneumonia, hepatitis. In the late period of illness, polyarthritis, nodus erythema, myocarditis, transition of illness in a chronic form. This is observed at a septic form. Intestine, next infection, intestinal coli infection, enterocolitis, acute intestinal infection of newborn and children of ill age, etiology. The agents of illness are enteroparticle cultures of intestine stick of Escherichia coli, different size form. Pathogenesis. An agent must have ability to product costal and costal toxins, cocto, which predetermined by the development of diarrhea. In addition, a stick has enteroinvasive appear. As a result, there is defeat of mucus tunic of gastrointestinal tract. The source of infection is patients and infecting takes place through food, milk. Pathomorphology of intestinal coli infection, coli. Local change develop in the mucus tunic of stomach, thin and thick intestine, and present cataral inflammation. Edema with dystrophic change in an epithelium, lymphoblasmocytic infiltration with the admixture of neutrophils, eosinophils, in mucus tunic of small intestine, discrimination of fringe of epithelium can be found. Microscopically, stomach and small intestine on the first day of illness are stitched watery maintenance with presence of grayish and greenish scale. There can be hemorrhages in a colon ulceration. The change of hormones are predefined by 
the dehydration of organism. There is fatty dystrophy in internal organs, in spleen, lymphatic nodules, hyperplasia of reticulocytes, pletera, swelling. Complication of intestinal coli infection. Complication is focal pneumonia in the case of joint of bacterial flora. Sometimes illness can run across on the type of shigellosis and complications can be the same as dysentery. The death of patient is caused by dehydration. Thank you very much. Go on.